Hi, it's the real estate guy, and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about these little puppies. It's a Rode Wireless Go microphone, and they're stupid easy to use. Well, stay tuned and find out how great these little microphones are. Hi, it's the real estate guy talking to you about tech from a user's perspective. Say, I'm in the real estate business and I'm always looking for solutions that are easy to use. I found these and this is a wireless microphone set. I'm going to show you how they work and how easy they are to use today. You buy these for about 199 US dollars, certainly more expensive than any kind of lavalier mic, but they, they do the job and most other wireless microphone solutions are about $500. There are two pieces. One is a transmitter, which is this one. This transmits the sound to the receiver. You can see at the top of this, it has a little built-in microphone. It also has a jack where you can plug in a lavalier microphone. I have a lavalier going straight into the camera right now so that you can see the, the roads. I'm gonna switch over so you can hear the difference and I'm gonna to switch to camera sound so you can see the difference between camera and this. I'm back from the future. I promised to give you a sound check from the camera only and I forgot to do that. So let's do this. This is using the lavalier microphone right now. Now I'm gonna switch over to camera. There's a lot going on outside the house today. There's construction, there's stuff like that. Let's have a listen and see how different a microphone will make versus the built-in camera under different situations. We're using a camera mic to see how that compares to the other mic. Wait, I'm gonna back up now, let's see what happens. So backing up, backing up, backing up. What happens to the sound? So I'm coming up, back up to the camera and we're gonna do a test from, uh, here's the normal distance I sit from the camera. So let's do another test where I talk from behind the camera and see what that sounds like. So I'm talking from behind the camera now. These guys are working hard, banging around in the construction site. These guys are making a racket. Back in front of the camera, uh, about the normal distance I usually sit to the end of the sound check, a built-in microphone on the Sony RX100 Mark 7. But let's check these out. I'm gonna switch the sound over to these so you guys can enjoy how it works. Before I do that, I'm gonna show you uh, exactly how, how you hook it up to your camera. So. Ah, this is the transmitter. When you turn it on, there, you'll see this got a little screen on it. There's a, a button there that looks like an old. That's how you turn them on. And switching on the transmitter. There, so as I talk into the transmitter, you can see that it's receiving the little scales going up and down and it shows you the battery level, a lot of great stuff. I really like it because I can see on my camera that the microphone's working. Uh, just by attaching this to the camera in, in a way that I can see it. And if you take a look at this, it's got a little clip on the back. So that fits in the cold shoe on your camera and, and you put the cable into it. So one, this is a receiver, you cable it and you put this into your uh, camera and you're all set. Uh, there's another cord if you have a smartphone. It's got different tip on it. If you have two rings here, like a tip, ring, ring, sleeve, T-R-R-S, it will work in a smartphone. If you have something that's just T-R-S, tip, ring, sleeve, that works on your camera. You plug in one end of your, one of the cable into the receiver and the other into the camera. And I'm gonna do that now so you can, we'll change the sound so you can hear uh, how that works. So what I'm gonna do is just clip that on my shirt and show you the easy way to use it. That's it. That's the easy way to use the microphone. So turn it on, plug it in, and start talking. Why do I like this from a real estate perspective is that when I use a lavalier mic, works great, no problem, except when, if you move away from the camera, you end up pulling your camera and the tripod all over, which is not the best solution. And that is my go-to microphone. I love this little microphone and uh, I hope that gives you some perspectives on uh, whether it would work for you as a real estate agent. Go out, spend the 200 bucks, and your, your audio quality 
is going to be studio quality. No matter where you are in the picture, you will sound good. You can also be behind the camera, you know, giving a tour, pointing the camera at things you want people to see. I will do that now. Welcome to Bangkok, everyone. From my balcony, this is the beautiful view that you will see when you live in this beautiful apartment. It's kind of worth the money, a little bit expensive, but hey, you get what you pay for. And as I said, as far as wireless goes, this is bargain basement cheap, and you judge the sound for yourself. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you later. Thanks.